is Chuck Hughes. I'm from Montreal, Canada. Uh, I have two restaurants in Montreal, and I'm also known here in Kuala Lumpur for my show called Chuck's Day Off that plays on AFC. Where hopefully I'm known for that show. So if I'm not known, start watching. Uh, well, you know, basically, uh, really, I think the reason why I became a chef and the reason why I started cooking was a love of food. You know, basically the first and foremost is really love eating and I loved food. And when I was growing up, my mom used to cook a lot and I used to get involved with my mom in the kitchen and she used to really, really, uh, you know, she had a dream for me to become a chef. So she would always incorporate me into the cooking, washing dishes, whatever it was. And she used to always really tell me like, okay, so a chef, you know, works very fast, very clean. And she used to teach me all these things. And basically, I never really thought I would become a chef. You know, for me, I studied in communications, I studied marketing, and that was really what I thought I was going to do with my life. But I would always work in restaurants on the weekends. So one day, you know, I decided I'm like, I'm so passionate about food, yet I'm studying marketing. Maybe I should study food. And that's when it kind of happened. You know, I went to cooking school, and that was it. I was addicted. The second I started uh, cooking school, I was hooked. You know, I loved cooking. definitely my mom was the one who actually knew about it she had a feeling you know moms they know everything I mean, the mom instinct you know so so I think she had a feeling and um, she really pushed me towards that direction but ultimately you know when I started working in restaurants and kitchens I just loved it so much that it was kind of a natural fit you know growing up in high school I wasn't really you know, I wasn't a bad student but I wasn't interested you know I it's not something that I loved. and then when I went to cooking school it took me like one minute and I was just hooked and I realized finally I'm somewhere where I belong, you know? So, I mean, I'm lucky my career has really changed a lot in the last five years with TV and everything else, but, uh, but really my real love is chopping carrots, you know, cooking. Yeah. yeah, I mean, my culinary philosophy, I think the philosophy is always gonna be the same. It's always about simple, fresh, uh, you know, creative, but not too much. You know, I try to not change the ingredients too much. You know, when you look at, uh, you know, I use the example of a cucumber and a tomato. Like when you really look at those, uh, you see the work that Mother Nature's already done. It's beautiful. You know, so really, I'm just a vehicle. I want to put a couple little twist touches on it, but really, I don't want to play with it too much. Uh, so my philosophy is still pretty much the same. You know, it, it's pretty much as I travel. Uh, I realize and, and the most authentic and the best food is always very simple uh, and very local and very real, you know. It's less fancy and more, you know, street food and all that stuff is what I love the most. So I think my philosophy has always been the same. And in terms of my cooking style, it's definitely changed a lot, you know, in the past almost 20 years now. Uh, oof, oof, 20 years. Anyways, maybe more like 17. Um, but yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely changed a lot. I mean, for me, um, you know, I started off with, uh, you know, coming from Canada where it's cold most of the time, a lot of heavy food, you know, uh, sauces and really a lot of braised meats and stuff like that. And now as I grow older, uh, you know, you grow older, you're a little bit more self-conscious about what you put in your body. So I eat a lot more, a lot more raw, a lot more fresh. Uh, you know, I've always eaten a lot of seafood and a lot of fish. So. Uh, but if anything, my, my style has changed a little bit. I'm a little bit more uh, on the raw side of things now, you know? Well, you know, the, the ultimate goal for me was uh, opening... <laughs> my ultimate goal was opening my 40-seat restaurant. You know, I really didn't have many more dreams beyond that. You know, for me, when I started cooking, um, I wanted to open my restaurant. And I opened a small 40-seat restaurant in Old Montreal, uh, which is a historical part of the city. It's about 400 years old. Uh, and that was my dream. You know, beyond that, I never really thought any of this would be possible. So, if I have one thing to say is, you know, follow your dreams big time, you know, and even think bigger than you would almost think normally because for me, I never thought I would come here uh, because of food. You know, uh, I never thought that food would bring me so far. 
So it's really been something that's, you know, for me, has been really, really life changing and amazing. Well, you know, I think it's all about uh, being passionate. I think really that's the most important thing is, you know, you gotta wake up every morning and you gotta be really 100% committed to the to cooking, you know what I mean? It's long hours, there's not much money involved, so you really need to love it, you know? And I think a lot of the students and everybody that I've met here are so passionate and love cooking so much. And I think that's really what's most important because as you go along, you're gonna learn, you know? I'm no, no different than anybody else. Why am I doing all this? I'm not special. You know, I've got two hands like everybody else and uh, it's all about really being passionate and wanting it. So if you work hard at something and you're perseverant and you keep on just pushing, 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 uh, you know, great things are going to happen. So I would say follow your dreams, be passionate and everything else is going to fall into place. Uh, my musical influence, that's a good one. Uh, you know, I really listen to, and I talked a bit about it earlier, like, I really listen to everything, you know, uh, from hard rock to heavy metal to hip hop, uh, the only thing I don't listen to is classical, because it makes me too nervous, like, I'm like, ah, what's going on, you know, so that's probably the only thing I don't listen to, but I love everything, you know, like, Led Zeppelin, uh, Biggie Smalls, you know, you name it, man, I, I'm really pretty much all over the board, and I think, you know, it's a little bit how cooking is, you know, it's a little bit of everything and it's really a melting pot. So in terms of music, if you look at my iPod, there's no real, it's like, it goes a little bit everywhere, you know, but, uh, but that's what I love. That's what I really, uh, I don't have any Malay music though. This is what I need to get. Any good bands? Yeah. Malaysian yeah. bands? Yeah. 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 I'm going to look at that. Well, you know, without my fans here in Malaysia, I wouldn't be here. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, you know, it's a great honor. And to me, you know, a small guy from a small town in Canada, to be able to travel the world and come all the way to beautiful Malaysia and Kuala Lumpur has been uh, a unique and probably one of the best experiences of my life. And if I had anything to say to you, you've got to realize how awesome it is here and how beautiful your country is. And there's just so much food and so much culture that I'm a little bit jealous. So maybe I'm gonna move here. Next time you might see me, Chuck's Day Off, Kuala Lumpur.